one of one of the more peculiar things that I notice when I walk through certain areas is the anger of blame. No. Now, this is something that is heavily biased on people's individual circumstances, but I find it incredible and very eye-opening that we see more and more people blame everybody else for their shortcomings and yet only ever accept themselves as the source of the positive aspects of their life. And this is one of the main proponents too, the anger of blame and the anger that people face when they've been kicked to the, kicked to the curb, basically. And this isn't something that is, you know, just unique to, you know, my city or England or the UK. Um, this is across the West. And it's because we live in a blame, blame everyone else society if the circumstances happening are negative. Because we would never see somebody, you know, experience uh, positive realities or positive scenarios and say, oh yeah, this is all because, this is all because of the people around me. This is all because of my community so, go and buy a truck. This is all because of my surroundings and my community and my friends and family. No, you have people saying, it was all me. I did it all. It was all, it was all me. But when we face these difficulties and when we face hardship, and especially, as I said, the people where they've been kicked to the curb, the people where their relationships around them bring them unhappiness and the community that they have around them doesn't care for them. All they do is blame the people around them and their community instead of accepting their own unique and individual decisions that has brought them to the point that they currently are. So... Again, what we should try to do is to leave that blame game as much as possible, that victimhood mentality. And we should start to realize that all of our actions are both a combination of our output into the world, but also as the consequence of the people that we surround ourselves with. And again, this brings responsibility onto us as to who we surround ourselves with. If we are around somebody who only brings negativity, if we are around somebody who only brings strife and anger and hate, then it is our responsibility to remove that from our lives. Speaking of which, we have got some lovely lovely we'll see if the camera can even get this we've got some lovely goslings is it goslings no signets that's what it is bloody hell we've got one two three four five again who knows if the camera is going to pick that up but beautiful beautiful swans and at least this part at least this part of the canal i always like to say river but it is a man-made canal the fact that this canal has flowing water and it's the section past the sluice gates it's uh, it's filtered so you don't get all of the shit and litter and crap that you do um, in town that floats down it all gets caught by the nets which is lovely because the swans have a really nice safe place to be but uh, no, just a little observation. Peace out.